girls and welcome to our Christmas program. I hope you enjoyed the pre-Christmas block and uh, I'm looking forward to either improving your uh, strength and conditioning over the Christmas break or at least maintaining it. Uh, obviously, we don't want to drop off as the January, February phase of pre-season are critical for uh, transitioning into season modes and the loads will be a lot higher as well. So we want to make sure we maintain our capacity, physical capacities in the gym with our strength and power and our conditioning on the field. So really, really important to we stick to the program. Um, I'll make sure I'll do my best to make it as efficient for your time as possible so you can enjoy the holiday and festive season, of course, as well. And uh, we'll have themes to each session. So Tuesday's session will be a moderate session. Thursday will be a feel-good, easy session. And then Saturday um, will be our main session of the week. Of course, Saturday falling on Christmas, if you want to change your days and do Tuesday on Monday and Thursday on Wednesday and, and move Saturday to Friday, um, that is up to you. No worries at all. Just move this panel. Okay, so we'll get straight into it. Those new to Team Builder, we've got some exercise videos, uh, some Team Builder videos just to help you. There's also a YouTube channel of Team Builder that helps plenty of tutorials in there to help you. Uh, and we'll have a body weight measure, really important that we do that. Um, with minimal clothing, no uh, ideally minimal food in your belly. So first thing in the morning is great. Um, and yeah, get the, the test done uh, as accurate as you can to your true body weight. So then, and then you wanna repeat that test every time you do it. So if you are wearing clothes, make sure you wear the similar clothes to the next time you test. And we wanna make sure we get the time of day around the same as well. So it's a valid uh, measure of how your body's responding to the program. And then in terms of Tuesday session, start with just a two minute jog to get the body temperature up, four minutes of your own mobility. Then we've got some 50 meter strides, two at 55% of your max velocity, and then two at 65%. So first couple should just be at like a running pace and then we start to pick it up with a bit more of an acceleration focus on the second. Then some change of direction, really focus on your technique. And the more that we practice about change of direction, the more options we have on the football field. So choose three and try and change those three every time um, we have our change of direction work in there in warm-up. And then we've got our three different groups that you, sh you should know. If you don't, make sure to reach out to your strength and conditioning coach who's looking after your program. We've got the 200 metres. Um, if you're in the A's, you have 44 second reps, the B's 47 and, and C's 51 seconds. Then we've got a quick turnaround. So after we've got our six reps there, you've 60 seconds before you go straight into the 250s. Same thing, follow your targets and have your rest in between each effort. And then we've got a 90 second recovery before we get into our last set, which is four 300 meter efforts. Aerobic running is our slowest phase of our running. So we've got aerobic threshold and repeat speed. With our aerobic running, we wanna focus on keeping our feet close to the ground. And we've got short, quick steps. So we're distributing the load over many feet um, and that way, um, we're looking after things like our shins and our knees. So really important that we keep our feet low to the ground because you're not generating a lot of force like repeat speed running. And uh, we're focusing on uh, short, quick steps. Hope this helps, girls. If you have any questions or queries, make sure to reach out to me via the Team Builder app. You can message me there and um, happy to answer any questions or queries you have about the program. Cheers. I'll see you guys on the next episode.